Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Emperor Series 88. My name is Tanya. Well, how are you all doing? Today is Monday again, but by the time you get this, it'll be Tuesday. So happy Tuesday, everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening whenever you press that play button. I believe that spirit was motivating you to do so and i am so happy to have you thank you for your likes and your subscribes and your shares it means the absolute world to me please like on the way in because it gives me an energetic donation to the channel and it helps me to tune into your energy so let's call on spirit and let's get this party started shall we spirit guides and angels of your whitest light Please give me a clear message for the collective, one that brings healing, understanding, and hope of their situation. Please protect me as I open myself up to channel these messages. Please protect my beautiful collective. And thank you for all of your blessings and your guidance. Amen. All right. So, collective readings, any energy, any sign. Energy does not have a gender, but if I do say he or she, please don't think I'm trying to exclude anybody because I'm not. Excuse that faux pas. These are just 3D terms. Flip the roles as you see fit. I could be talking about your person and meaning saying you. I could be talking about you and meaning your person. However that works out, okay? And if the shoe don't fit, you quit. Check your placement. You could have more than one astrological sign in your chart. All right, let's find out what the energy is. Spirit, give me the energy of this reading, please. The overall energy. Or the advice, whatever the case may be here. Because I do have an energy deck. So what kind of thought process do we have here with this channel message? What do we have here, Spirit? Oh my goodness. We got more than one. And I'm going to take the first one that came out. I'll put this on top, which is courage. Bottom is success. Courage equals success. So courage, I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. So somebody's facing their fears, or they're going to past, present, or future energy could be at play here. Success, I know that there is no greater goal than to love. So love is the, the goal. Love is what they're looking to have this courage to pursue. And in the end, it'll be successful if they pursue it, because what does it say? No greater goal than to love. There we go. That's going to start the theme, my friends. Love is the goal. Mm. All right, let's go into the energy deck and see if we have anything more to say about the energy. But somebody's looking for courage to face their fear of you. Or if it's you that needs to face this fear, you are trying to face the fear of coming towards somebody else. Oh my gosh. It's chomping at the bit to give me what has to be said here. Ooh, yikes, I'm afraid. Of Let's go in. But it's a it is about fear. And sometimes fear, I mean fear is not a bad thing necessarily. We are fearful of a lot of things, right? When we go to a scary movie, we're afraid. Sometimes we, we're afraid of the unknown of what's going to happen in a situation. But what is what is fear? It's a perception sometimes, right? There is the actual fear of something that's legitimate. But then a lot of times it's perception. The actual event isn't as bad as what we feared it would be. And I think that's what I'm channeling here today. So this is the door to personal happiness and healing. And it's, uh, and, and it's opened and the abundance is on the other side. But the person has to recognize they need to heal in order to get that happiness. Right? 34. 7. So, somebody's door to personal happiness and healing is open. It's just up to them to have the courage to walk through it is what I am hearing from spirit. Let's go into the rabbit hole, babies, of finding out what the heck happened in this situation. Spirit, come through. Let's find out. Give me a couple of cards here on each side of the deck. Let's see why this person needs courage in the first place. And then there's the door to personal healing and hope. So there's an ending. There's the end of a long journey. I'm hearing a, a long situation. A crap show. 
yeah, that a person went through. And finally, they're going into another cycle. This could be you or your person. The door is opening. There's abundance on the other side of that. They just got to walk through it. All right, let's find out. Let's find out what's going down. Here, give me a couple of cards, please. Thank you. Yeah, there you go. Makes perfect sense. That door is open for a reason. Um, let me see. Okay, come in. Attention seeker. Ooh, yeah. Well, your person was an attention seeker. That's what I'm getting from that. Those cards. Attention seeker, baby. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Holding on to the past, and that can be fearful in itself to change, right? Let me get this over here. Courage. All right. Let me move some cards a little bit around. I got this new downloadable deck. I haven't got the whole thing yet, but I got enough that I want to play around with it today. Scared of being rejected. There's so many things why a person would be afraid. Holding on to the past and scared of being rejected are two of them. Nothing will hold back a person or block a person from their happiness and success than those two things. There's a lot more other things. Yes, yes, yes. That's true, 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 true. But these two things are big ones. They're whammies. Win at all costs. I don't get that this is you or your person. I get that there's a third party here. Under attack. Here we go. Yeah. Other people will win at all costs. All roads lead me back to you. And that's where that door is opening to lead them back to you. Yep. Okay. Let's go into the second half of the rabbit hole, baby. Mm -hmm. So somebody is willing to do whatever it takes to win your person and not have them come towards you. This, this person already had toxicities in the sense of fearing rejection, holding on to past people, situations, and hurts. This person, this connection between the two of you is under attack. But the ultimate goal here is that re the road is leading back to you. That's still their hope. Even though the odds are stacked against the situation because so many people are putting, are they personally involved in this for some reason? Yeah. All right, let's find out. Spirit, what's this under attack about, please? Define what this under attack is about. Okay. I'm going to leave it at that. Healing generational curses is at the bottom of the deck. So you could be healing gener generational curses or your person could. They find you to be creative. Creative. You could be creative in the arts or they could be seeing you as creative. You could have your own platform or social media page where they're seeing creativity in your daily activities or your job you're worth fighting for and this is something that they had to learn they had to learn it wasn't an automatic thing twin flame here we go mm -hmm. makes sense why this separation there's an age difference between the two of you you could be older they could or they could be older or you could be younger there's an age difference here we go baby at all black magic this is what's that's why you're under attack black magic is creating blockages in this connection let me get some more on my rabbit hole here spirit give me some more a couple more cards of this black magic who's the one this spirit yeah you have an emotional bond with this person uh, I wish I could take back my words at the bottom of the deck. But what's this black magic about, spirit? Who's doing this black magic, spirit? Who's doing the black magic? Let's see if spirit will give it to me in this card. If not, we'll try somebody else. Some other cards. Spirit, anybody doing black magic? Lack of trust. Yeah, your person has this toxicities of scared of being rejected, holding on to the past, and lack of trust. I speak to you through music. But there's black magic being performed. Let's find out if we can find it on some other avenue here. All right, Spirit. Get this new deck in. 
and I've already shuffled it a few times here, so let me see if we can get into it. Yeah, clarity, truth is coming. Intentions, honest intentions. You wanted truth and what happened. And I have a, f I have a feeling you're going to get it. I have a feeling you're going to get it. Something's going to come out, even if it's just card reading today. You're going to get truth and clarity on what happened in this situation. You're going to get justice. Yeah, give me a few more cards on this black magic if you can. Intimacy. This person wants intimacy with you. Mm -hmm. And this could be your divine masculine. I'm seeing here. Yeah. Finality. Yeah. You left this person behind. Maybe you're looking for closure. And you're not wanting this past person to come through anymore. You're done. For some of you, that might be true. Or maybe you thought it was final, but it's not. This person thinks about you all the time. It's a twin flame connection. It's not that easy to just end it. Cut the cord, if, so to speak. But there is a separation between the two of you currently. Yes, you're not speaking to this person. This person's not speaking to you. And if they still are, it will happen. And Spirit, a few more questions. I mean, a few more things, please. What is this about black magic? Can you give me something on that? The black magic, baby. Somebody's performing it. That's that's why it's under attack. Oh my goodness, spirit. Yeah, broken. This person is destroyed. This person has been destroyed by what's happened here. Not just about the separation between the two of you, but it's been destroyed through black magic and manipulation by another person. Cloudy judgment. Yep distorted unbalanced this ma black magic has really messed with your person's mind in a lot of ways it's messed with their mind and made them feel like they can't come towards you because they're too toxic and this is the whole premise of this magic was just block them maybe uh, yeah that they've been they were pursuing other things and one of them was toxicities sex drugs numbness just not to have to feel anything ecstasy yeah chasing thrills and good times here we go can't make it up conflict yeah and this is there's incompatibility with this karmic that is blocking them these people that are on that are attacking them but it's one of these people that they're actually sleeping with yep yeah. mm-hmm mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And they're exhausted, they're depleted. They're drained from this lifestyle of partying and sex, sex capades and all the nonsense that goes along with that. They chose to go down a different path based on desire. There was an age difference between the two of you. And they wanted, there was a lack of trust, trust in connections, trust in commitment. This is twin flame though. So are you tied to this person? Whether you want to be or not, you're tied to this person. Spirit, give me some more evidence of this, please. But they're, they are just wiped. <laughs> they're wiped. They're broken. They're wiped. They're whipped, Spirit saying, by this comic. Who's controlling them through sex and using sex as a weapon, I'm hearing. Yeah. A lot of incompatibility with this person and oh my goodness spirit i don't think so it's too much too much all right free spirit you could be a free spirit or your person could be a free spirit wanted to be free it looks like leo so it could be leo energy here yeah maybe looking for signs you are looking for signs or there's signs everywhere like two 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 three 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 something like that the all-seeing eye, the third eye might be opening. Your third eye might be opening. You might be more spiritual than your person. Not just age difference, but there's a maturity level that's different too. Good luck is here though. Good luck is here. And it's for the two of you. It, it, there was a, a destiny between the two of you because there's a twin flame. That there was things that you would work on with each other in this lifetime. But they chose to go on a different path and but now they feel like you're worth fighting for they were holding on to the past which is trust issues which is toxicities things that they've been doing for a long time long time yep 
take warning and you needed to see the signs and you didn't you didn't see the signs because you were so in love with this person you couldn't see their toxicity maybe you could but you didn't you didn't acknowledge it you just let it go you just loved them so much you overlooked it and it and it turned into heartbreak for you it was very heartbreaking for you to walk away from this person you didn't want to I really don't think you had a choice to be honest with you I think you you were moved out of here by spirit because this person was very toxic. And there was stuff being done, black magic being performed, and spirit took you right out of the situation. So even though <clears throat> you have a excuse me, you have a twin flame connection, so connection with this person, you were far removed from the black magic that was being performed, even though it was probably being performed for both of you, to be honest with you. But you didn't you didn't get hit like your person did with it. And it's left them in a mental fog where they just, they're exhausted. They're doing stuff that if they were in their right thinking mind, they wouldn't have done. They really wouldn't have done. Spirit, can you give me some of cards, please, about this black magic, what was happening here in this connection, please? All right. Thank you. Yeah, here we go. I mean, seriously, I can't even make it up. The devil. Mm-hmm. They're in their shadow self. There's addictions, temptations, toxicities. There's so much crap going on here. And the comic's codependent on this person for their money, for their for their status. And it's wiped them clean out. It's wiped them clean out. Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Devil Energy is Capricorn. Yeah, they want a breakthrough. They want a new beginning, though. They want to move towards you. Because they just look at you as, you know, they wish fulfillment, man. Temperance, they needed balance. Make sensible choices instead of this foolishness that they've been, uh, they've been pursuing. Justice is here, man. And it's going to be justice, clarity, cause and effect. They're living in their karmic lessons for what they've done. They, they've made choices that they've had to live with. They've had to pay out debts because of it. And... Spirit took you right out of it. The high priestess is here. But it was sideways. So it could be a distorted high priestess that's performing this black magic on your person. Is Who's this high priestess, Spirit? Who's this high priestess? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Critically, yeah, it's a distorted one. Um, It's eight of swords. Yeah. It's left your person angry and guilty. But they want freedom from this bondage of these this toxic lifestyle. Who's the high priestess spirit? Who's the high priestess spirit? Thank you. Ace of Pentacles. They want to manifest a new opportunity. They, they find you financially abundant. They look at you as financially successful. They want to manifest that prosperity. They want to be with you. And that is Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Who is this high priestess? Maybe you are the high priestess. Maybe you are this spiritually knowledgeable person that has given them enlightenment. That they see as creative. That they see as spiritual. You're the keeper of secrets. You know their secrets is what I'm hearing. You have great intuition. King of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, the unpredictable lifestyle. Yeah, their expectations weren't met. They had high hopes, but they didn't. Nothing, nothing happened here. King of Cups in reverse. Cold, manipulative. Secretly competing, man. That's what I'm hearing. Secretive and ashamed. They're living, their lifestyle isn't good either. This is a distorted king. Um, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. This is a person that is their friend. That's into bad habits too. But is emotionally manipulating your person. Page of Wands. Free spirit. This person, your person could live an untraditional lifestyle based on their free spirit. That's what the free spirit is. Leo energy. Wands is Leo energy. It's Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, so it's fire energy. But they could they could want to message you, though, because they look at you as their freedom. 
that might be what that's about too is they look at you as their the abundant and you're their freedom they, they want to escape to you is what i'm hearing but they're burdened overloaded based on their own toxicities yeah it's like ten of wands yeah they 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 don't know they want they want completion they want to move forward they feel stuck Keep going, spirit. Keep going, keep blowing, baby. Ace of Wands in reverse. Yeah, there's been delays. I'm feeling weighed down. Mm -hmm. So the bottom of the deck here is um, the Four of Cups. Yeah, they want to choose happiness. They want to choose you. That's what I'm hearing, babies. That's what I'm hearing. But they've gotten all these things up against them with this toxicities that are going on uh, yikes yikes a few more cards let's go into the shadows man let's see what the shadow has to say because only the shadow knows baby what's happened to this dark magic spirit give me some answers please on this magic i don't believe it's the high priestess i believe you are the high priestess i believe there is a distorted Queen that there that's performing this though could be this King of Cups too in reverse could be multiple people. Here, give me some more, please. Thank you. Yeah, there's a lot of chaos and confusion based on this dark magic keeping them stuck purposely, trying to keep them confused and feeling like they can't come towards you. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure, a lot of emotions this person has. They were hot and cold with you, but they feel like they're just drifting. They're not doing much. Yeah, they spread themselves too thin with sex capades and toxic toxicities and getting into in and out connections. Yeah. Yeah, they camouflaged who they were. So you didn't even know what the hell was going on. You didn't know this person for who they were because they played they played games with you. Yeah, there's a dynamic of push and pull. They would come towards you, love bomb you, then they would ghost you. Pretty like clockwork. You know what I mean? And this person might be like that in their everyday job life, but they're unpredictable behind the closed doors in their sex life. That's what I'm hearing. Very willing to do what it takes. You know what I mean? And the people in their life are willing to do what it takes now to keep them stuck. To keep them with them so that they don't move forward. Spirit, give me a couple more cards, please, before we end it. Go into the Twin Flame. See if there's anything here for that. That's, but you move forward and spirit is blessing that. Yep, solitude. You walked away. You're, you're like in hermit mode. You walked away just to find yourself, to just heal from this situation. Good for you. Spirit is going to bless you for that. You're probably already receiving some of the blessings too. You are the divine feminine to the divine masculine. Yep. You are on a journey, ascension. You're on a spiritual journey, ascension. Yep, there's truth, there's justice. That's it. What does it say? You can't spell truth without Ruth. <laughs> but yeah. Divine timings at play. Trust the universe that they know what's happening. They know they, they're they working behind the scenes. And this person needed to go through this to have clarity to understand what these toxic people were doing to them. That they were blocking them. They weren't there as friends. People that were in their life for a long time that were friends with them were just keeping them stuck. And this connection's under attack because... Your person's under attack. This person is secretly competing this King of Cups with your person. But they realize that this connection is worth fighting for where before they let it go, they can't let it go anymore. But they are so mentally, physically, and spiritually exhausted, they don't know what to do right now. So they're stuck in limbo. Just not wanting to move forward. Just staying stuck in this toxic energy. What would they say to this person if they could say anything? I regret what I said to you. They might have said something really mean. and They might have pushed you away. They might have said something the last time they spoke to you that turned you away completely from them. That's what I'm getting. What does the bottom of the deck say? I regret the way we left things. There you go. Yep. They regret what they said to you. They regret how it was how it ended. I want to contact you, but I'm not sure what to say or how to approach you. This is why they're stuck. They're staying stuck. You are like no other. 
they find you creative, sexy, wonderful, and they were, I'm afraid to change. And that's true. They're afraid of change. They're so toxic, broken in their devil energy. They got to have an ego death. They have to go through this in order for them. They're broken. But with those broken pieces, they are going to put themselves back together again. They're going to be a better version of themselves is what I'm hearing from spirit. So keep on going, man. Keep walking forward, man. Don't look back. Don't look back. You don't want to be like Lot's wife, a pillar of salt. Keep moving forward. When they get there, they'll find you. Don't worry about that. One more card here to end it. To get clarity. I mean, not clarity, but an affirmation card of healing. Of closure. Now you know it wasn't you. It wasn't anything that you could have done to change the situation. If you thought that that was true, it's not. It wasn't you. It was them. They needed to work on their, their stuff. But maybe you needed to learn boundaries too. And you needed to learn to love yourself enough to put yourself first maybe you put other people first all the time it's about time you put yourself first you're learning that too you can't always put all your eggs in one basket and think a person's going to be the end all be all because then what about yourself who's doing that for you who am i <laughs> here you go i am who i want to be and thoughts cannot label me as good or bad what truly defines me is how i respond to these thoughts i will greet passing thoughts with kindness and understanding yeah, sometimes we think negatively, but we got to let that pass. We got to let that go. Put it down. Revisit it another day or just let it dissipate. You know, we can make mistakes, but that doesn't make us a bad person. We all make mistakes. Even your person's making mistakes. But in the end, in those mistakes, there's learning and there's healing. That's all I have for you today, my friends. Please like and subscribe and join my tribe. I'd love to have you. Until next time, be safe out there, my friends. Be blessed.